Hey y'all, how's everybody tonight? Let me know you're here so we can get started. I'm excited about tonight's project. I hope everybody's had a good week. I'm going to give it a few minutes and let everybody come in and say hello and let Facebook catch up with all the comments. All right, I'm going to get started. What you're looking at is a project that I made last night. And if you're new to the um, Chalk It Live group, we are a group of ladies or gentlemen that, that come on um, periodically and demonstrate chalk couture and what chalk couture is a high-end DIY um, company it's also um, a home base business or you can just um, buy the products and um, make high-end DIY um, home decor and what I've got here is a pillow that I made last night and I actually made this during um, dinner when I was uh, cooking dinner that's how easy and quick these are to put together chalk couture sells the surfaces they sell chalk um, reusable transfers and this is an inking project and this is an inking project like I said I did last night during dinner the pillowcase um, cover is um, not chalk couture, but we do sell them. I've got some on order. I just run out, and I picked this up at a local um, craft store. You can um, chalk anything, and that's what um, my project is tonight. I have a birdhouse that I picked up. But I always try to give um, tips and tricks and make this a little bit funner when you're out and about and you see things that you think you can chalk, you definitely can chalk them. So my tip for this project is I picked this pillowcase up from the local craft store, but I'd also gone to my Goodwill and found an already put together pillow and I got it for a dollar. So I just bought the pillow and I um, inked my uh, Santa and put that pillow inside this pillowcase. Um, and it actually matches my decor in my living room so whenever Christmas is over, I can take my pillow out and um, put it put this one on my couch or I can do whatever holiday or season it is and make another one it's just a cheap way to um, stuff these pillows the other thing I wanted to show you is um, in my VIP group if you head on over to my VIP group if you're already a member I'm going to show you something that is available in my VIP group. Um, if you are interested in, in being in my VIP group, um, just comment uh, VIP and I will send you an invite. I have um, some goodies that I have that you can get for a deal. You will get a transfer. These are reusable. You can um, read the back of it and it tells you exactly how to use your transfer, how to take care of your transfer. They are reusable. 
once you chalk or ink them, you wash it, dry it, put it back on the backer, and you can reuse this over and over, um, up eight to ten times. And if you take care of them, you can use them longer. So this is available now in my VIP group, and you will get a transfer. You will get a surface. You will get a squeegee. Um, and the squeegee is something that helps you apply the chalk to your surface. You will get um, three or two or three case colors, and you will get a board eraser. So this is available now in my VIP group. If you join my club, um, Chalk Couture has a monthly transfer program. And let me grab this month's transfer and I'll show you what this month was. And it was this acorn. And it says happy holidays. Now this one won't fit on the board and base, but we do have a special going on right now that um, their surfaces are on sale. And if you're a member of the club, you get 50% off select surfaces. So if you join my club, you will get uh, a surface you will get a squeegee and you will get a board eraser. And this is a gift for me. This is not Chalk Couture's gift, but this would be a gift for me if you join my club. I will contact you, get your address, and get this sent out to you. But this is an example of what you will see on my VIP group in a very good deal. So, let's get to tonight's project. I went to the bank today, and they sell for a certain amount of time these um, bluebird boxes. So, when I walked past it, I hadn't, I had a few ideas about what I wanted to do tonight for tonight's live. Um, but when I seen the blue bird box, I said, I have got to chalk it and hang it up. I don't have a blue bird box. This is my first blue bird box. It also come with a piece of paper that, that, um, talked about the bluebirds and um, how you take care of your box and how you take care of your bluebirds. So this was an already made um, bird box and I got it, I said, uh, from my local um, credit union. And when you're doing a non-chalk couture surface, you want to uh, wax it first. Now our chalk couture surfaces come already um, ready to go. You don't have to wax the surface. And the reason why you wax it is because you don't want your um, transfer to get uh, messed up while you're chalking or inking. So this is the wax that I used. I just put one coat over it let it dry and then I buffed it up. So I've already done that. Tonight's transfer is a retired transfer and it is the sunflower. And it's a, a double layer transfer. And I just thought this would be really, really cute with um, some sunflowers on it. So these have been used several times already and this is the top layer this is the base layer so we're going to start with the base layer now this surface is um, uneven so um, we're going to do the best we can and after i um, get my sunflower on here I think I am going to um, seal it 
with uh, some polyurethane or something to so my design won't wash off because when you're using a surface and you want to change it you can wash the chalk paste off so you want to uh, lay your transfer down and you want to just lightly use your fingers and um, make sure there's no bubbles in your transfer so I'm going to use um, the bumblebee and the orange peel chalk paste hey Shirley and I think I'm going to do um, the hot mess technique. So I prepared my paste ahead of time. And what you want to do is make sure your, your paste is um, a sour cream um, consistency. And all you do, if they are really thick, all you have to do is just add some... Um, water to them and make them the consistency of sour cream. So we're just going to randomly place some um, bumblebee on here. And then we're going to go back with our orange peel. And we're going to just swirl and blend. And then we're going to remove our excess. So I need a little bit more here. And I use all sides of my squeegee. I use the tip to um, place it and mix it. And then I use the side to um, remove my excess. And normally you would put it back in the jar. But since it um, is a mixed color, you wouldn't want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do next is reposition my sunflower. You can do this a couple of times before you have to clean it. Then we'll have to clean it. I think I'm just going to do a, a straight bumblebee one here. And then I'm going to do maybe a tip of orange here. And then we're going to let this dry for a minute. And we are going to do our top layer in bark, which is a brown. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to show y'all how to clean this transfer. And I'm, excuse my messy desk, I am getting ready for a craft fair and I have got stuff everywhere. And then you just uh, spray your transfer with water 
and you take a Clorox wipe and you just scrub your transfer And this is a great mat. This is also a chalk couture um, product. And it helps keep your work surface clean. And we're just going to repeat cleaning our transfer till we get it all cleaned up. I have used this transfer a lot. It's one of my favorites. It is retired, um, but when you become a designer for Chalk Couture, we have several groups that you can join and get lots of um, ideas. And if um, you have a transfer that you've seen in the past, you can um, get your trans, you can look for these retired transfers that if someone's got an extra and they want to get rid of it, you can purchase from them. So I'm going to lay this on my fuzzing cloth to dry. They do stain, but that's okay. They're still re they're still usable even if they stain. So I'm gonna lay this over here and let it dry, and we can work on the outline of our um, sunflowers. So I'm just gonna hit this with my heat tool and make sure it's good and dry. And where you want to let it get back to room temperature. It seems like it's dry. And I see a couple of areas where it bled through a little bit, but I use a little craft knife and you can just gently scrape any boo-boos away. And then we're going to use our second layer, which is the outline. And it's been a while since I've uh, used this transfer. And I used to have it marked. on which direction it needed to go. Might take me a minute to figure it out. Our new um, transfers have what they call um, registration marks and they help you line up your layering transfers really well. I'm going to lay my 
backer over this one so it won't pull up my design. So um, just like before in our original transfer, we um, smooth it out, make sure there are no air bubbles. under our transfer because air bubbles will give you um, a distorted image. So we're going to use our bark to do our sunflower outline and I'm just laying down my chalk paste and I usually um, smooth as I go. It depends on what type of project I'm doing on, on how you apply and remove. If you're doing uh, many, many colors, you, you'll put lay it down thick and then remove it later. But you definitely want to remove it before it dries. So there's sunflower number one, and we're going to heat that up a little bit. And then we're going to try to figure out our second sunflower. Outline smooth out all our bubbles or our smooth out our transfer That looks good, I believe. And do our bark again. And we're going to try to do it one more time before we have to wash it. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit so you can see. So this is what we've got so far. Hey, Vicki. I love this transfer, too. I wish I'd have got a backup. I have used it so many times. I can't wait to hang this outside. Uh, if anybody's come in late, I'm doing a, a bluebird box. 
I don't have any blue bird boxes and I have seen them in our neighborhood and I'm not going to finish the whole project with y'all tonight because it, I want to do some more of the um, sunflowers on the other side and, and some on the top. But I've got a couple of transfers, mix and match transfers. Um, I think the spring collection cutouts has a little bird on it. I think I'm going to use that, but I am going to do the front so y'all can see what I'm going to do on the front. So now I'm going to outline this snowflake and I got a little bit of paste pull right here, but we can take a paintbrush and fill that in and I've got a little bit of brown that didn't stick there. We can fill that in. And then when I get done, I'm going to um, seal just my chalking with some Mod Podge or something because um, I want the wood part to de de distress with the weather. But <clears throat> like with chalk, you it can't be outside in the rain or anything like that because it'll wash off. So I'm just gonna. Uh, do the um, chalk designs. I'm just going to seal those. So again, we're going to take the bark and do the outline of our sunflower. And just lay down some chalk paste and thin it out. And now I'm going to put this one in a water bath because I want to get it real nice and clean so I can get my other sunflowers. So this is my idea. Is I'm just going to randomly place these sunflowers on my bird box. So I'm going to go put this in my water bath. It's in my kitchen right beside my craft room. I'll be right back. So I think I'm going to fix my boo-boo so we can see how we do that. <clears throat> While I got my paste jars still open. So I've just got this really tiny little paintbrush. And I am just going to dab the areas that the chalk paste didn't stick to or my transfer pulled up. I think that looks good on that one. And I misaligned it right here. I've gotten so used to these new transfers that have the registration marks. These um, retired transfers for Throwback Thursday. Get, uh, give you a little bit of a challenge, but luckily they're giving us uh, registration marks now that makes it a whole lot easier <clears throat> lining up these multi-layered transfers. So this is the side. I am going to put some more 
I kind of like the distress look where it's pulled up a little bit. It looks nice. But these big areas. I do want to uh, make them look a little nicer. So this is the side so far of my bird box. I'm super excited about this project. This is going to be absolutely adorable outside in my yard. Okay, now I want to do the front um, of this project. And I don't need my yellow or my orange right now for it's actually bumblebee and orange peel. And I'm going to flip my bird box over. And I am going to use, if it fits, I've got to see if it's going to fit, the word welcome from Welcome Trio. And you just peel it off the backer and it just barely fits. And I'm going to hold it up and see if it looks about straight. It does. I thought this welcome, <clears throat> and then I have uh, the word home I'm going to put under it, would be absolutely cute on this bird box. I'm going to put this on a little bit thicker because my uh, brown, I added water and I got it a little thin. So I want to make sure I get a good coverage on this one. And I'm going to dry it. I don't want to put too much on the front because I I don't want to scare the birds off. You know, I actually do want them to make a home in there. I don't know. What do y'all think? Think bluebirds will not nest in my bird box since it's all decorated? I don't know. I'd love to live in a house like this. If I was a bird. So I'm going to use just the word home in um, this transfer. I will love you till the cows come home. This is another one. Sorry, I don't know what happened, but we are almost through. <clears throat> and I want to make sure that I have this straight. And centered, so I'm going to place this a 
on top to where I can kind of gauge where my welcome is in relationship to my word home. That actually looks pretty good. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what happened. It just said um, that my browser closed. So we're going to go on. We're going to get this part done. So there's my W. We're going to go with it. If it's off, we can always go back and wash it off and redo it. It doesn't look too bad, but I'm a perfectionist. I probably will wash it off after it dries <clears throat> and move home over a little bit. But this is my birdhouse. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to put another sunflower up here. And this is the side we've got done so far. And then the front. I'm going to do some more sunflowers on the side. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, like I said, if you have any questions um, that I can help you with with Chalk Couture, just comment below and I will help you. Y'all have a nice night.